Hi, my name's Grant, and you're watching Counter Rotation. On today's video, we're going to take a deeper dive into the transmission from my 99 Porsche Boxster. Thanks for watching. First, I want to start with just some quick background on what we were experiencing with the car. Um, first of all, we had the transmission off and did a fresh clutch on this car 3,000 miles ago. Um, transmission felt fine at the time, didn't notice any issues, so the stock trans went back in. Car is about 100, had 103,000 miles at the time. Uh, now we're a little over 107,000. So what I started to experience after the clutch and the IMS bearing, everything drove great, but I noticed at uh, during track days, not during normal driving so much, but when you're coming on and off the throttle, I noticed a felt a slight you know weight transfer, and all signs pointed to um, the motor mount and the two transmission mounts. So uh, sure enough, initially it was the motor mount, and I anticipate, or I assume that that was from the motor sagging while I took the transmission off. The old rubber was brittle and probably tore when we did all that work. So put a uh, fresh motor mount in. We used this Wevo semi-solid engine mount, which felt really cool. Uh, it was an awesome upgrade at first. Made the car feel really racy with all the vibration and stuff. And as most people told me that you're gonna get sick of it, and sure enough, after 3,000 miles, it was getting a little annoying. Uh, all those old plastics inside the interior started to vibrate a little bit more. And, um, but also, it was disguising um, another vibration that was coming through the transmission, or so I suspect. So, um, after uh, failing tech inspection going to my last track day, uh, we knew something was up. Um, I replaced the two transmission mounts. I put the stock mount back in, hoping that something was causing that shift. It was actually moving the shifter as well, which is normally engine mounts. So we did all that, kind of hoping that that would solve the problem. It did not. Um, and then the, the real tell-all was we put the car up on the lift, actually drove it, so ran it through the gears running on the lift, and at about 3,000 RPM in every gear you could feel, I mean, the car was actually bouncing a little bit. So something is very wrong. Um, you could, I could see the shift rod that comes off the back moving. So something internally, those gears were actually pushing the rod in and out. And it was actually looking like it was gonna get to a point where it was gonna push it out of gear. So something's up. Um, unfortunately, these transmissions, everyone says, are too expensive to rebuild. I got quotes anywhere from 15 hours just to open it up. Every little component inside, every gear, everything in it is over $100, depending on how much is wrong. It could be, you know, a couple grand to get that, that transmission rebuilt. When you can get a used one from 400 to 1000 depending on condition from eBay or Craigslist or whatever. So uh, before I get into that, um, I'm going to drain the fluid on this transmission and I'm going to take out, the only thing I can really do here is I'm going to take off this cover and I'm, I'm going to pull the ring and pinion out of it, or the open diff rather, um, and see maybe I'm lucky, maybe it's the carrier bearings and the spider gears in the, in the open diff are shot and if I'm lucky I can just get away with just replacing that part from a used a uh, good one. Uh, the new parts for that are even incredibly expensive. So hopefully I can source a used uh, open diff, maybe someone upgraded to an LSD. So um, I'm hoping for that because the gears, everything shifted very smooth. There was no problems, you know, running it through the gears. But uh, please leave me comments if you've ever experienced this in a Boxster and you could tell me, yes, Grant, that is those, that's the gear set or, or something else inside. Um, but I'm hoping that when I open this up, I see a bunch of metal and that open diff is shot. So uh, let's dig into it. First thing I'm going to do is put this up on blocks. I'm going to take a clear tray. I'm going to drain out the fluid, see if any metal comes out. Then I'm going to pop off this cover and take a look inside. All right, so we got the transmission up on blocks so I can slip a tray underneath, catch all the fluid on its way out so we can see what comes out of this thing. Uh, when you do this, just be warned, you've got, uh, you need an M16, uh, one of these triple square safety splines that Porsche likes to use, so make sure you got that in the set. Uh, you also need that uh, different size to pull off the transmission, so might as well get the full set of those. 
All right, so got this drain bolt pretty well loosened up here. So you can get it off by hand without minimal getting it on me. Right, let's see what comes out. All right, there it comes. All right, so this is Redline MTL uh, with about 3,000 miles on it. It's not the same color that it went in, that's for sure. And, you know, I don't know what it should look like at this point, but it's pretty milky and black. I haven't heard any chunks, but I'm gonna inspect this pretty closely and see if um, you know if I have any metal shavings coming out. Um, drain plug looks okay. You can see that. All right, so what I did here on the half shaft um, is take uh, two of these little Allen bolts that came off um, with the rest of the axle. I'm putting these on for leverage, running them through just enough so that I can get this uh, pry bar in behind it and hopefully pop this out and then we can get at uh, the rest of it. So let's see how, let's see how this goes. I've not done this before, so let's hope we get lucky. Yeah, worried the transmission might be better supported for this. Yeah, you know what? What uh, I think I'm going to do is ratchet strap this whole thing down to the bench so it's nice and solid. That way I can really pry on this.